What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of King Customs. And on this episode of King Customs, we are going to be talking about AFM and how to delete it. Coming up. Now what's going on guys? This question was asked to me by Adam Cunningham. So Adam, I'm sorry it took a little while for me to get to this episode. But right off the bat, before we start... I just want you guys to hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome aboard. My name is Ryan. Nice to meet y'all. And those who are returning, thanks for showing up. Now, before we start on my list, because I always like to jot down my notes and there's a lot on this. Um, I want to let you guys know, I don't know much about AFM. I'm not going to stand here and pretend like I know everything about AFM. Honestly, I don't know much about it. All I know is the general basics of it. Basically, um, it shuts down four cylinders on light duty applications for you to save gas on fuel economy. You, Those who know me for a little bit, who's been following the channel, know that I truly don't believe that it saves fuel economy. Maybe it does, but it's pulling a heavier vehicle at four cylinders. I don't know. It, it just It's just weird to me. Um, but let's just get into what I found. So I did do research. I'm going to leave uh, a link in the description below of where I found this research. Um, and it was also, the research was done by a guy named Brian Nutter. Uh, he posted this on November 30th, 2017 at 4.37 p.m. I, I just want to let you guys know this is not my um, information at all. I took this off from what I read. And I'll leave the link for you guys so you can click on it and go through the whole thing. It has tons of of awesome information and it's something I definitely learned a lot from what I read so you can too so basically let's start into it so uh, we're gonna delete the AFM there's two ways of deleting AFM which is an AFM delete kit or the uh, disabler um, so basically AFM it was trademarked by GM uh, the gas mileage improves by shutting down half the cylinders under light load to reduce fuel uh, consumption so basically, gas mileage improves by shutting down half the cylinders under light loads to reduce fuel consumption. Um, it's also known as DOD or displacement on demand for cylinder deactivation. Um, it's, good on, it's good for gas mileage and I think it helps uh, save like 5-7%. to 7%. It's more fuel efficient, 5-7% to 7 under certain conditions. So why would you want to shut this off? Why am I, I'm hitting a boxer. So why do you want to shut it off? So basically drivers who want constant V8 power, it's drivers like me, I always want my truck to be in V8 power. That's a truck, it's meant to be like that. And fuel is not that expensive right now. It's pretty cheap, not as cheap as it was way back then, but it's cheap. Um, AFM lift, lifters that have a history of failing or uh, oil consumption can also be a problem and so on and so forth. Uh, ways to delete, there are two ways, like I said before, the AFM disabler and the delete kit. So let's go one by one. So we're going to work on the delete kit right now. So with the delete kit, it's recommended to use a delete kit when your AFM lifters are failing. Uh, installing performance upgrades, you have to replace AFM components with standard parts. Um, and if you are going to do this, you do have to upgrade to a non-AFM camshaft. That is something that was asked to me by a previous viewer before, so I did get the um, the answer here for you. Uh, um, also, on the camshafts, they are different. This is why you need to replace it, because the cam lobes in the four AFM cylinders are different, and you'll lose 25 pounds of uh, compression in those four cylinders when you, when you cut it off, so you need to replace them. Um, this can result in a misfire code if you don't get this program. So when you're doing this delete kit, you do have to get a programmer to help program the computer to know that AFM is no longer a thing. Um, shut off the AFM system by using a computer programming or get a custom tuning, which is what I just said. Uh, recommended to plug pressure relief valve in oil pan and switch to a standard volume oil pump. Now, this is to use a AFM uh, disabler, which plugs into the OBD2 kit. So, basically, it plugs into the OBD2 kit, like I just said. Uh, prevents the computer from shutting down four cylinders, and it's simple and effective. Um, sh which one should you choose, disabler or delete kit? If your lifters haven't failed, then use the disabler. If the lifters are failing or failed, then get the delete kit, because it's expensive to change those. Those, those, lift those AFM lifters are actually pretty expensive. 
Um, I did look up the price on those and I forgot how much it, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it was pretty pricey. Um, and where I found all this information from guys was from on allcylinders.com. Like I said, it was posted by Brian Nutter. Brian Nutter, great job on what you wrote. If you ever happen to come across this video, it's like amazing. Like I learned so much from you, dude. And he posted this on November 30th, 2017 at 4.37 p.m. If that even is important. But, um... I will leave it in the link in the description for you guys so you can click on it and read through it. I'm telling you, it is worth your time. If you're interested in deleting your AFM or you just want to learn, read that article. It's so interesting. It has awesome little diagrams that show you um, how it works. And I think it's really cool. Uh, I, I've definitely learned a lot and that's what this channel is about, learning a lot and we can both learn together. So if any of you guys know anything else that I have not read off my list, it was just basic stuff that I read off that list and jotted down notes from. But um, if you guys have anything else that you want to uh, add in, please leave it in the comment section below. I would love to learn more from you guys about it. And um, for those of you who have not hit that like button yet, please make sure you hit that like button. So thank you all again for watching. Um, Brian Nutter, thanks for posting that. And Adam Cunningham, thank you for asking this question. Um, hopefully a lot of us learned some stuff. I know I definitely did learn something and hopefully more viewers learn. So with that being said, peace out and I'll see y'all for the next one.